All right, this is Patrick Russell. I'm interviewing Claude Hostetler for the first time. This interview is taking place on August the 4th, 2021 at Clinton, Oklahoma. This interview is being conducted by the Making History Project. How are you doing today, Claude? Uh, so far, I'm very fine. I'm still breathing. Okay. And can you tell me when, uh, what your birth date is? My birthday, August the 14th. Of what year? 30. 1930. And uh, where were you born? In Clinton, Oklahoma. Clinton, Oklahoma. Okay. Not far from here. And um, can you tell me a little bit about your hometown when you, when you were growing up? What was it like? I don't know. My dad was in the National Guard, and he was mobilized. And I didn't see him for all years of time. And anyway, he, uh, that's, that's about it. Okay. But what, how was your hometown when you grew up? What oh, was it like? Your, what was Clinton like? Originally? Uh, no. What was Clinton like? Oh, it was a nice little town. Three, four hundred people. And, and what's Clinton known for? Nothing that I know of. Just <laughs> and really hate it. Something to do in that small community. All right. Is it? Is there a lot of farming in Clinton? Yes, my grandparents are all farmers. So that's where I grew up in the, on a farm when my dad was gone. All right. And um, how big was your family when you were growing up? I had a sister. All right. And was she older or younger? Older. All right. And uh, what did your parents do? My dad was a, he was a school teacher. Right. And, and in high school or grade school? Oh, or was there, there was just one school then. Okay. One school, he taught them all. All right. And what did your mom do? What did my mom do? Well, she lived in Alice and grew up in Alice house and then later married my dad. Mm -hmm. And did she, what did she do for work? Did she work at all? No, why am I? Your mother, did she no, work I, at all or? Uh, yeah, oh yeah, they always had work doing, doing something those days. Okay. And um, did you go to high school? Yes. Where did you go? Clinton. Clinton High School. And um, did you play any sports or have any hobbies? I played all sports. My dad was a coach. So he was the teacher and the coach. And um, so your dad taught you? Yes. Oh, wow. What uh, was that like, having your no, dad teach no, you? No, he, he didn't get to teach me. He, was, he got called up on that, on that war in the National Guard. OK. And he got out of the IAC for a long time. All right. So what sports did you do? Baseball? I played all of them. Oh. What was your favorite? Baseball. Yeah. What position did you play? Oh, shortstop. Okay. Good. Um, so did you graduate from high school? Yes. All right. And what did you do after graduation? Uh, what did I do after graduation? I think I went to school with the college. Okay. You remember where? At, uh, well, I went. I went. I went to uh, one or two different places over the years. 
I went to uh, I can't remember. <laughs> it's been too many years. Okay. All right. And um, do you remember what you studied? Yes. I studied. Uh, Being a coach, like my dad. All right. And um, did what did you do uh, after school? After school, went to the pool hall. <laughs> okay, you played pool. Played pool. All right. And um, did you graduate from college? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. All right. And I graduated from college. And what did you do after college? I went to the farm. All right. And so you I have a family had, farm? Uh, all my relatives had farms. And they always were short-handed. So uh, I, was, I was always available. OK. Um, so then you were farming. Uh, what type of a farm? We. Oui. And what kind of work would you do on the farm? About anything. So. Because my granddad was still farming with mules. Didn't have a tractor. Wow. So did you did you like use a plow? Oh yeah. All right. Did you eventually use a tractor or no? No. Uh, just mules. The, the tractors weren't, they, they didn't have tractors then. They, they, they just coming on. All right. So that was hard work? Oh, yeah. Just early, early in the morning and late at night. And how long did you work as a farmer? Oh, for years. I, had got, I got so involved in farming that I, I started buying equipment. And so I, I, I farmed a lot on my land. All right. How big was the farm? Uh, I can't tell you exactly how many. I had an uncle who was a wasp. He was one of some of the wasps that was up in, in the politics. So, well, they had lots of land. Okay. And did there come a time where you joined the military? Oh. I wrong about someone along the way. I had, my wife had four kids. We were busy taking care of kids. Okay. And when did you enter into the Air Force? When? You don't remember? I want to say the Korean deal. Around Korea. Okay. And did you enlist or were you drafted? I enlisted. All right. And so you were in the U.S. Air Force? Yes. Okay. And what was your highest rank in the Air Force? Staff Sergeant. All right. And what did you do? For the Air Force? I was a mechanic. All right. On a B 29. All right, so the B 29 bombers. Yes. Okay. And do you remember um, what your bomber group was? I want to say the 78. I'm okay. not sure. It's been too many years. And where were you stationed? Georgia. All right. And 
So what type of work did you do on bombers? Worked on the engine. All right. What type of engines were they? Eight or twenty-eight cylinder engine, the big engine. It was one of the big engines they had then. How many engines were on a B-29? Four. Right. And um, so you would have to do maintenance on them and repairs. There's something going on all the time. And the pilots would go off on their flights, come back, have a ride up, what they call a ride, a ride up, and then they get they get to ride right up to the the crew chief. The crew chief was hunt 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 us down to repair those ride ups. And um, where were the pli the pilots flying? Was this just training missions? They were flying different routes. They had different routes. Some would go, go to the west. Some of them go to the, to the they didn't go to Japan, they didn't go to Hawaii or anywhere yet. And at this time, was there a war going on when you were doing your repairs? Oh, there was a war going on somewhere everywhere. Germany, Germany, Russia. They got into it with Russia. Okay. And um, tell me about what was a, um, like a typical day for you working on airplanes? What was it like? I worked out, I think I worked 20, 20 some hours without stopping. At one time, they were so far behind. <laughs> it wasn't much fun. Okay. And so this, and the bombers were always flying? Oh, yes. They had so many in the air all the time. What were they carrying? Bombs. Atomic bombs. Atomic bombs. Okay. So this was part of the deterrent force? I did. All right. And, um,. Did you ever, were you ever stationed overseas? Oh, yeah. Do you remember where? Oh, England. Mostly. That was the main place. But I, I stayed over in Europe a, time, a night or two at times. And did you ever have the chance to fly in the B-29? Uh, to, to, to fly in the B-29? Oh, yeah. I flew several times. All right. What was that like? Well, it's, <laughs> it's, it's like when I was in a regular airplane, I, you can't tell the difference. I mean, they're all the same. All right. And... Um when you flew in the in the B-29, was it to check on your work or to figure out what was wrong with an engine? When you flew in the the B-29, was it to check on your work? Oh, I probably was we checking our work out after we work on it. Okay, so testing it out. And how high, do you know how high the B-29 would fly? How oh, high? Oh, I think it's around somewhere around eighty or ninety feet. Eighty, eighty, eighty feet high. Eight hundred feet high. They're pretty high. Yeah. When you would fly in the B twenty nine, did you have to wear oxygen? Well, certainly I do. Okay. Did you ever fly on a B-29 when it was carrying the bombs? Yes. 
I went open the door and looked, peeked in, <laughs> looked at it. This is big. This is big. Ooh. Do you do you know what what type of bomb it was? The atomic bomb. Okay. They carried them all down. In case Russia got it, come over after. Okay. And um, what other work did you do as a mechanic? Was it just engines? That's it. Just engines. That's all we had time for. All right. And what was your most memorable moment from the Air Force? You have a a really neat memory to share? Yes, but I can't remember exactly where it was, where it was or when. That's okay. What was the memory, though? Oh, walking into the, the supply, trying to get parts. <laughs> Not being able to get the parts. <laughs> okay. And so, I guess not being able to get the parts wasn't any fun. You couldn't finish your job. Yes. Yeah. Did you always have pilots that were on top of you trying to get their plane ready? Yeah, they was always checking to see when the plane was ready. Mm -hmm. they, they, they were ready to go and get out of there. I think it was stationed over in France for a while. Got caught over there. They had, had to land in France. All right. And um, do you remember any of the any special planes that you worked on? Any notable planes? Or are they all the same? Oh, okay. Yeah. What about the the nose art? You know that the painting on the on the planes. You know the. I didn't get to see the nose. No. Yeah. Um. Okay. And do you know how long you were in the Air Force for? How long? I was retired. You retired in the in the Air Force? Yes. So you did you spend like more than twenty years in the Air Force? Yes. Okay. And the whole time you were uh, acting as a mechanic. Yes. Did you work on any other planes other than the B twenty nines? Oh, I worked on about anything that it get me. Because I didn't have a lot of mechanics. Do you remember what other planes you worked on? Oh, I worked on a 29. Did you, were you ever involved with the, the B-52? No, I just saw it fly over. Okay. Is it just bombers or what about fighter planes? Very few. There's a few people. P-51, they flew around once in a while. They just up and down the coast. Did you ever work on the P-51? No. No? They had a different engine. Who made the engine for the B-29, do you know? Pat and Whitney. Oh. And so you retired from the Air Force. And how old were you when you retired? Uh, old, uh, I don't know. I just uh, was qualified. That's all I was worried about. All right. So you, you worked long enough to get your pension from the military. Yes. All right. Well, when you got four kids, you got, <laughs> you got to keep busy. Yeah. And so, what did you do after the military? I went to the farm. All right, so you came back and... and yeah, I, I, my uncle was, he had a lot of land. 
and he, I was far from him for a long time, oh, I say, a year or two after the, after the war. Okay. And what war? What war? What war are you talking about? What war? Mm -hmm. uh, the, 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 the one with Russia. Okay. Or Germany. That was one of the biggest things going on. They thought the Russians were going to come upon through there any time. I think why they kept that big 29 in the air. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. And um, so where did, where did you go to start farming? Was it back in Clinton? No. El Reno. El Reno. Okay. Oklahoma. What's it called again? In Oklahoma. What's the name of the city? Uh, El Reno. Okay. That's a train station. All right. And so then you went to go farm there. And then I started farming for my uncle. All right. And how long did you do that? Oh, I, I don't know. As long as that. To make a living. All right. And then um, you said you had four children? Yeah? Okay. So four children, you were married, and you were farming. All right. And then, um, then did you retire from farming? More or less. Okay. All right. And anything else that you want to add that I didn't ask you? Uh, I don't know. I can't think of anything. You might. I, I, I can't think of anything. I can't remember it. Hold oh, on. Uh, I tell you what, time goes by in a hurry. Uh, my memory is very right long. <laughs> well, you're doing just fine. Is there, um, is there anything that you would want to tell future generations? Any advice or wisdom? Say that again, please. Is there anything that you would like to tell future generations? Any oh. advice or wisdom? No. No? Get an education. Okay. Get an education. That, that works out better than anything. If you, if you got uh, something that well, people want, you can get by, you can make a living. Okay. If you, have, if you haven't got a, a, a specialty, it's hard to figure out how you're going to get in there. All right. I think that's good advice. Well, I want to thank you, Claude, for sitting with me today. <laughs> All right. And sharing your story. And I want to thank you for your, your military service and uh, for our country. Oh well, I enjoyed all that. That was, that was. It kept me busy. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. Well, thank you. Thank you, sir. Glad to meet you. Nice meeting you. <laughs>